Elections can often be an attractive opportunity to spark change, but for many in Venezuela who continue to suffer from hyperinflation, unemployment and the harsh effects of the pandemic, Sunday's election is of little interest. The opposition in Venezuela is encouraging this kind of rhetoric. They say the election lacks legitimacy. Juan Guaido, who declared himself interim president back in 2018, wants Venezuelans to boycott Sunday's election. In its place, the opposition leader says he will hold his own referendum. El llamado hoy a la comunidad internacional, a los venezolanos, es muy claro, a ratificar el rechazo al fraude, el rechazo al intento de burlar una vez más la democracia en Venezuela. A los venezolanos a quedarse en casa. This call for Venezuelans to not cast their ballots will likely mean that President Nicolas Maduro's Socialist Party gains control of the National Assembly. This is the last major opposition-led institution in the country. If the party's allies win, Maduro will solidify his grip on the nation. The president has been accused of jailing opponents in the past, but Maduro maintains that this election will be fair. A mentir y a decir tanta bolsería. Vamos entonces el domingo a un plebiscito. Si ustedes ganan, yo me voy de la presidencia. Not all of the opposition's candidates will be missing on Sunday's ballot. Some say they will run and continue to dialogue with the government in the hopes of still being able to affect change.